Hey guys, we just got to Singapore. Literally landed about, I don't know, what would you say? An hour and a half ago? Literally landed an hour and a half ago. I've been up since 3 a.m. but we're already out here. We're only here for two days, so we're taking every opportunity that we can. Which way do we go? This way. Um, so I'm gonna show you around in the two days that we're here. And what's crazy, we were just saying, is like we expected Singapore to be like packed, like a crazy bitty city, but it's not. It's actually super peaceful and kind of like a little bit eerie because it's so peaceful. Like there's like nobody on the streets, which is a bit weird. I don't know if, a, like what day is it? Oh my God, it's a Saturday. Yeah. There should be people on the streets. Maybe, maybe I was like, maybe work. it's a work day. Maybe work, yeah, maybe they're out of the city. I don't know, but yeah, it's really quiet, which has been weird. But yeah, I'll show you around. So this is the Gardens by the Bay entrance. Um, we're seeing a lot of familiar restaurants here because Singapore is very westernized. So that was kind of interesting to see after being in Asia for so long and not seeing those things. Um, but yeah, we started out right away to hit these two days running. Um, we didn't have a lot of time. So we are in the main area where you buy tickets and this is right here. And there you can see um the gardens a little bit this is the flower hub that we're gonna go into it's like this huge dome you can't really see them in here and then we're gonna go in the clouds which is there so fun 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 so here we are going into one of the exhibits. This one had flowers and trees and honestly different types of plants from all over the world. It was really cool. I didn't think I'd be excited. Excited. I don't know why that sounded like that, but I didn't think I would be that excited seeing something like this. But honestly, going through the exhibit was really interesting. Um, it was really artsy, which was kind of cool and super advanced. Singapore is a very advanced um, country in Asia and it was really cool to see like the technology they have in their buildings and uh, like the fact that they're even growing a full ecosystem in the building it's it's pretty cool so right now we are at the upper deck and I just can't believe look how big these cactuses are They have like every kind of succulent and cactus like you can think of in this section. Like what is that? Oh, I think it's a little carving. <laughs> wow. I know. It's the dragon. I thought it was a tree. I was like, what is that? A <laughs> tree. A tree. And then there's where we'll be going later, but Wow. So here we are at the lower deck of the exhibit, um, looking at all the different trees and plants that um, do not need to grow in a desert. And basically you can see the Marina Bay Sands building from every angle, which was so beautiful. And yeah, it was just honestly probably one of the craziest experiences I've ever had, even though that sounds like a bit dramatic for what you're seeing once you're there and in person it's like a totally different experience and like there were so many people from all over the world at this place like it was such a tourist attraction and it was honestly pretty cool i can understand why it would be my advice when going here would be literally to buy the package that covers all of the exhibits because you can make a full day out of this and see all the exhibits that the gardens by the way has to offer and it's really cool okay the big moment is here. Wow, this is so cool. Can you give me some damn water, <laughs> Cutting you up. Wow, oh my god, yeah, we're gonna go up there. We're gonna go on the skyway. So this was probably the coolest view in Singapore. You can get the full city line view as well as the gardens by the bay view. Um, this shit is so high though and the bridge is suspended off of these super trees. So it was the craziest thing and you'll hear me bitch about it. God, this is so scary. 
Oh my god. This bridge is literally suspended in the air from these things. I'm so weak in the knees right now. I definitely would stay at the Gardens by the Bay all day because they have so many different events. Right now, this is us waiting for the light show of the super trees, and you can see the whole skyline. It's just beautiful. So the Arts and Science Museum in Singapore is definitely well worth it. Um, the technological advancements that Singapore has is really cool. Um, this is a projected image over this huge entire room that um, calculates where you're moving and anticipates where you're going to move. And then it designs the room based off of that movement. And basically it'll like put waterfalls over your whole body and just do the coolest things. And here you could draw something and throw it up on uh, the wall or their like digital aquarium. It was so insanely cool. And I don't know if Alex and I are just literally little kids at heart, but we felt like there was something for every age group here, which was really awesome. So this was the skyline coming out of the Art and Science Museum, and it was attached to one of the biggest malls I've ever seen in my life. Um, it was a super cool experience and we got to take their transit system which is one of the best in the world and honestly we can see why it was so safe and such an enjoyable experience. So our four days in Singapore ended up coming to an end. We headed to the airport but got to see all the cool things that the Singapore airport is known for and it was so insane but Singapore is definitely a place for like families. Um, it's super quiet and not necessarily for young adults but it was still an amazing time. Thanks for watching guys and more travel vlogs are coming soon.